these guys i remember playing never have i ever with these grown men who own playboy and my never have i ever was like never have i ever had sex outdoors and there was like never have i ever because they were calling each other out and they're like never have i ever got stopped at border patrol for having prostitutes in my trunk and i was like oh oh wow that's a lot (laughs) it is wild when you meet people that seem like they should be professional and then they're just not like i remember i knew this dude who worked at vice and he invited me to like i was at the same strip club as him in vegas and he invited me to like the back room and i'm just looking around and i see all these vice executives (laughs) and they're all snorting and like getting off by strippers and and i'm just like what the like these are like very high level employees at this company and they're just wilding the out it becomes a very big like boy like frat party yeah it does, i don't think it matters how old you are because a lot of the execs at playboy whenever i was there they were all from the same college they all went to the mm. same fraternity so mm. it's just a non-stop party for them wow that's crazy so okay but actually shooting playboy was it at all uncomfortable for you to be naked oh, on camera absolutely and stuff? Not. No. even my photographer told me that it seemed like i became more comfortable the less clothes i had on mm. i oh, don't well. it just i loved being naked and you'd never thought about modeling in any capacity before that i had but i wanted to do more standard modeling like like runway catalog and things like that but i don't meet like height weight or like body measurement requirements i feel like your boobs are too big to do anything besides porn she got a reduction yeah really i was was actually wondering i was i was looking at you thinking like she seems like the type of girl who might have either had one or be thinking about getting one yeah i uh i had double or triple e cups they were like this big whoa and my back was just in pieces i mean still hurts a lot today but and as a young person growing these gigantic tits did it feel like oh my god i'm cursed this is like slowly ruining my life oh you're hyped yeah i loved it but there just came a certain point where the they just started sagging so much and i was like they're never gonna go back up like we gotta fix this really do you know how many cc's they removed or do they tell you when you when you get a reduction um i went from well, by the time I got my reduction, or it was it was like semi reduction, more so a lift because mm-hmm. I had lost a lot of weight, and so um, they went from being triple E's to now. I mean, but my bra doesn't fit, so I don't know how big I am anymore. They're big. You um, can't wear a bra anymore. No, I don't. You need I, a new one. I ordered <laughs> I ordered the bra to wear with your wife, and my boobs don't fit in it. But it's my bra size, so I don't understand what the fuck happened. Whoa. You, you were blessed. I mean, I know your back hurts, so I'm sorry, but... It's just <laughs> insane amazing. how some women could just be, like, given this weird genetic thing. It's like, yeah, you're, you're going to have fat on your body, but it's only going to happen in one area, and it was going to be your tits. Like, well, what? I, I did meet a girl on the podcast who told me that her boobs are, like, forever growing. Like, she has a medical condition where they're never going to stop getting bigger. Damn. What? It's like some people who never stop getting taller. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Except worse. Time. At some point, her back's going to break. Yeah. That makes sense. Wow, that's crazy. Um, okay, so you're doing the Playboy <laughs> thing. I'm assuming that your your family knows about it. Were yeah. they were they upset about that or? My mom said, "I'm just upset that you lied to me." Really? But it's like, how am I gonna like? How do you go to your parents and be like, "Hey, just shot Playboy I'm in Playboy." Right. You want to see? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, but so then, how does that lead to you doing porn? So Playboy doesn't pay a lot, nor does it. They like bring you on a bunch. So I didn't want to go to college. I never had any aspirations to be in college, but I also didn't want to be a waitress anymore. So I started doing like the Snapchat thing where like you'd be naked and like have the, that, but that was like almost 10 years ago. So it was very, very new. And I remember I made $700 in one night, which now that's nothing. But as a waitress, I'm like, oh, I quit my waitressing job and I just kept doing that. And it slowly kind of kept feeding into it. It's so interesting because when I moved to LA, there was a bunch of girls that I knew from going to the club and shit. And they were like, they were Playboy models like online and they would be talking about the infighting and the drama within the Playboy world and who's Ugh. Playmate of the Month and who's not. And I remember just sitting there listening to them thinking like, you know that the rest of the world doesn't even know that this shit exists. Yeah. But Playboy is such a big name. brand yeah. name that like they were convinced that they were like fucking killing it. So I can kind of, like a lot of girls yeah. I think kind of, and still to this day, people are kind of getting bamboozled into doing whatever for Playboy just because it's such a strong brand name, right? I don't think it's very strong anymore if I'm completely honest. Like how often do you really reference or hear or really even think about Playboy anymore? Yeah. Like I just, it's yeah. so, it's faded into the background because there's just so much 
more. They're still really only being like, look at pretty girls, be nude. And it's like, okay, but I could also look at a pretty girl fucking herself with a 12-inch dildo up her asshole mm. while she's like also getting penetrated in her vagina. But now Playboy's trying to be like an OF competitor, right? Yeah, which is kind weird of, but I, I don't think they're allowed to have nudity on Oh, so they're going to be yeah. forever hobbled so by when that. When I worked yeah. with Playboy, Playboy always tried to act like they were better than everyone else, mm. which was really weird to me because we would do AVN shows, but we would never have our own booth because I guess we were too good to have our own booth, which is weird. So they would dress us up in Playboy outfits and have us run around, but then they would specifically, especially back when AVN used to like actually be wild and nasty, um, they're like, make sure like you don't show anything and like we know, like we're not like these other people like blah 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 blah, mm. and I'm like, this feels really weird, like. We're like naked, you're amongst like, porn, but you're you're not porn. But we're better than everyone else because mm. we don't do porn, and it's like, just shut the fuck up. Like, who did cares? you always think about it back then when what? they when they didn't expect porn from you? Like, were you thinking like, well, I, I kind of want to do porn, or no, it just came along because it made really good money. Yeah, mm. and then once I did it, like my very first blowjob scene I ever did, I made a hundred grand off of it, and I was like, okay, so this is what I'm gonna be on doing. OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. Really? What yeah. year was this? Um, it was. Right. I hit right as everybody got their stimulus checks. Really? <laughs> My first blowjob scene. I've been doing nudity for like seven or eight years. Stimulus checks hit. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to talk about blowjob scene. Best era in the <laughs> porn world ever. But COVID. <laughs> most of us didn't really know. Like we didn't yeah. really get how how what a fleeting moment in time this was. Oh, my God. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That check when it hit, I was like, oh, that's amazing. What'd you buy? Did you do anything? Uh, no, I put it all in savings. Really? Yeah. Me. Everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you going to do with all this money? I'm like, I gave the dude account. in the video a $1,500 cut of it. Oh. But, yeah. 1.5%. That's what he deserves, right? Uh, he was also very <laughs> annoying. So, <sighs> you know. Was his was only his dick in it, or was he also? It was in the, just his dick. Just his dick. And was this okay. a professional, or was this no, just the just this nearest really pretty dick? guy? Okay. Really stupid himbo surfer. Mm. He's so gorgeous, but he's so obnoxious. Really? Yeah. Like a professional surfer? No, just oh. an idiot with a surfboard. I know a variety of guys out there in the world who are doing OnlyFans content with girls, and <laughs> if it was exposed to the world, it would be very bad for them. But they're able to like keep a distance from it because you never see them oh in the God. video, oh, right? The, the, their face covered. I met the most interesting person that does something like that. My friend and me were in uh, Germany together and he was working with a guy and they get done wrapping up and they come out and my friend was like, oh, he's bisexual. Would you want to work with him? And I'm like, oh yeah, sure. Why not? The dude ends up like he, he does like the mask or just no face and he has no tattoos and he ends up telling us that he has a girlfriend and I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah. I only do work with guys, though, so you'll be, like, the first woman that I work with. And I'm like, okay. Um, and he's like, but I'm straight. And I was like, no one just said that you're bisexual. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm just straight. I just only do sex work with guys, and I only top guys. And then he just, like, keeps going, and then he's like, my girlfriend doesn't really like that I do this. And I don't really need to do this for money, either. Like, I have a really good job. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? At that moment, on? it's just like, okay, TMI, right? <laughs> like you're getting your he doesn't even take like like dick pills so i'm like you're getting your dick hard and sticking it in a man's ass you don't need the money and your girlfriend doesn't like it i'm like you are like what the fuck is going on here yeah that's <laughs> you end up shooting with him no <laughs> <laughs> no no he wasn't m gen tested uh. and i had all this stuff to come back to in la and i'm like sorry like you're fucking dudes in the ass like you gotta be safe yeah like all the other stds and i don't think m gen comes from butt fucking either but i was just like if you're not tested for M gen, I I can't play the game. Wow, yeah, yeah no, that's real. Yeah. yeah. Um have you have you done anal? I have not on camera. Really? Yeah. Do you like it in your personal life? I used to. I haven't done it in a really long time. Like years. Nobody asked to do it. Well, nobody asked to do it. I had one boyfriend that really wanted to do it and I let him do it. it. Felt great. Then my next boyfriend was like, I would never do it. And I'm like, good, you're huge. I don't want you to. And then my next one, he said he'd never done it. And I was like, I would actually prefer if you go fuck somebody else in the ass first. And then, like, you know, you have that experience with them, and then we can, like, do it. Is that mm. your average relationship that you want to be open with the guy? Like, I do. I you, really so like So you could just open. send the guy to go fuck yeah. someone else, and that's all good? Yeah, and it's really weird because as much as guys say they want to have an open relationship, I think that they get, like, confused. They're like, oh, I don't have to cheat. I can just go sleep. I'm like, yes, please go sleep with other people. 
Like well, my my last boyfriend, he was in New York, and he's like, "I miss you so much. Like I'm so horny. I'm like, go have sex with somebody. Right. And he's like, but I like I want it to be you. And I'm like, okay, well, fuck tomorrow when you're back at home. Right. Like go have sex with somebody. That is kind of the weird thing for a lot of guys is if you're in an open relationship, it's like, well, there's there's a differential here, which is that it's way easier for you to get pussy than it is for me to get pussy, and I'm gonna have to like work for it. You know, especially yeah. for average dude, they just they have to work <laughs> a lot harder to get pussy. So it's like he his DMs were filled with with women oh okay he was like blowing up on tiktok so like he had absolutely no problem but he would also try and do this thing where he would he would try i guess he felt guilty he's like oh by the way like when we hook up i do have a girlfriend and they'd be like what i'm like why are you telling people you have a girlfriend just go <laughs> fuck them like who cares right. what made you like this like did you just have so many bad relationships that were um, um closed relationships or like i've cheated on every single partner i've okay. ever had and um that's up for debate on my very most recent one. I don't think I cheated on him, but I. But did. does he think you cheated on him? He doesn't know. Oh, poor guy. But you know, I also okay. think. <laughs> I was having this conversation with someone yesterday. Intention to cheat is cheating, right? I didn't do it. I did it because we're open. Like I had sex with somebody because we're open, but I got a little too drunk and I passed out and stayed over at their house when I was supposed to hang out with him. Mm. Oh, okay. Which and that's that's the, that's the line where it's like not supposed to spend the night at people's houses, but I was blackout drunk, so it's like it wasn't safe uh, to leave either. Yeah. Yeah, I just passed out. I, I mean, went to bed. You're sick. It's like yeah. it's not you're not under control of your own actions. So at that yeah. point, it's like you kind of have to judge it differently but then at the same time like you chose to get drunk so i did choose to get yeah. drunk and i i i'm sober now but when i would drink there was no stop for me mm. it was go 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 right and he was sober so like that that excuse probably wouldn't have flowed with him drunk but, girl sober guy is yeah. probably not something i would bet on in terms of working out in the long run he, i think he liked it a little bit yeah <laughs> I mean, drunk girls are fun, but as soon as you're in a relationship with them, you want something a little <laughs> bit more steady and safe, and drunk girls are not that. Yeah, I did get sober for him, but I mean, if we're going to say that I cheated on him, I guess he technically cheated on me as well, because he slept with somebody on a day where we were supposed to hang out, so it's like, it just cancels each other out. Okay. Well, but now you're single? Yeah, and I like newly, it. Newly single? Mm, a couple of months, maybe like... Uh, yeah, I don't know how many months. Are so you, were most of your scenes with boyfriends or? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you just started collaborating pretty recently. Uh, no, 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 no. I've been doing, so my last relationship, but I, I would also collab with other people. Okay. And I didn't want to work with my last boyfriend, but he was so just like, no, like, I want to do it. I want to be in porn. And I'm like, okay. That must be a little offensive for him. It's like you go shoot with porn guys, but then you don't want to shoot with him. That I just been wanted a little bit to of... separate it from yeah. once. Because my last relationship before that, it kind of got a little messy because it became like businessy. Mm. Yeah. I'm like, I just want to fuck you off camera because that's really fun. You have been sucking dick on camera for like, what, three, four years, but you just maybe, started porn a year ago? Maybe a year, maybe two years. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I've been doing sex for under a year. Okay. Yeah. But um, what made you decide that you wanted to jump into the real porn world? That hundred thousand dollars, baby. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you think you'll shoot for studios or just OnlyFans? Um, I've had people ask me. Uh, I don't, I don't know, cause I got approached by Brazzers back in two thousand fourteen. Uh, oh, they wow. sent a. They sent who did they send? I literally worked with him. Um, Kieran Lee. They literally sent him into my DMs, and I was like this nineteen year old teenager, and I'm like, what does Kieran Lee want with me? And he's <laughs> like, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> wow but so you weren't tempted to get i in was there? scared because then that would mean i'm a real porn star right and i didn't want to and like, playboy was sort of brainwashing you that that was yeah. bad yeah yeah everybody moves into it at their own speed right i'm like molasses so okay besides the porn stuff i want to hear like what's the freakiest shit that you've ever gotten into in real life because i'm getting a feeling that there's a lot of it um I had a famous boyfriend once and when people would find out that I was dating them, it would always like be like, oh, well, like, and I'm like, sure. So I would call him up and be like, hey, do you want to have a threesome tonight? And so we would. But one of the times um, it was me and my friends and we got really drunk and we're all upstairs and stuff like that. And I just remember seeing him get whiffed with like a metal end of a leash. Like by a who? dog leash by my friend. What? That's yeah. what he asked her to do? No, she just like was feeling herself and like took the metal end and was like Ooh. beating him. Ouch. <laughs> he was having the time. I and guess. he was into it. I don't know. He he liked a lot of things. We also like, <laughs> he let me peg him once because he really wanted to try it. And that was so quiet. Like, it was just like. You were not into it. 
I was trying to, but he, I don't know. It was a little interesting. Did it fuck up the way that you viewed him in a way to say to me and that submissive? No. Nope. No. As I used to like finger his ass and like put stuff up there anyways. Right. I don't care. Wow. You think you'd think differently about me if I was uh, getting penetrated by you all the time? I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe. If we did it once, how often would I be able to request it? There's another question Are I wonder. Are you girly moaning while she's doing it? Because I think that adds another level. <laughs> if you're like, would I girly moan? <laughs> oh, what? You know, I think I might girly moan. Yeah. I think I might girly moan if I was going to do that. Maybe once every two months. No, I'm thinking like every Friday. Like, hey, babe, when I come home. She puts in like some Bose headphones and she's like, yeah, I'm ready. Babe, I'm on my way home. You down to fuck me? My butthole. You put the strap on the one I like. My butthole is dilated. I've been sniffing poppers all day. Oh, my God. See, you're not ready for these conversations. No, I'm not. And I don't think I am either. But only because I I just like, I know that you're you're not actually into it. So I can't picture you as that guy. Hey. Yeah, you're very tall. So you like on all fours being like, get on top of me, babe. Fuck my little asshole. <laughs> Is this turning you off or on? Off. Off? Damn. Look at Miss Conservative over here. Man, you need to move to Texas and hang out with her family. Um, <laughs> but uh, wow. Okay. Conservatism breeds the kinkiest freaks though. Really? The politicians that get caught in like gay orgies. Yeah. But, they, but they're also like the only ones that we care when we find out. Like it's hypocritical when you find out about a Republican hilarious. governor who was cross-dressing. Whereas like if we found out that like some Democratic socialist was doing the same thing, it's like, okay, well, you kind of, you told us that by your political affiliations, yeah, right? it's great. I mean, Rob DeSantis wearing fucking heels. Oh <laughs> my God. My favorite thing on the <laughs> internet right now, even though it'll probably be kind of dated by the time they see this episode. It's so amazing. But just him denying it. That he's rocking the run- runway with those little. This dude is like five four, and he's out here trying to flex like he's five seven. He's just angry that Trump dissed him. Imagine being a man just walking around in secret high heels all day. But what it's not even fuck? secret because it's so obvious. Stuff your shoes. Yeah. Put socks at the end. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. As a tall guy, I try to be empathetic to the struggles of the you short man. You do need to be empathetic because I know it's man. hard. You but know? he should just be five seven. I think yeah. I love a short guy. Short guys are just as big of freaks as big guys. But the thing is, is that there's no way that he thought this plan up. It's like he has political advisors who are kind of like, bro, your approval rating is tanking. You looked like you were going to be the next president of the United States six months ago, and now you are fucked. What is it? What's wrong? I guarantee that when they do polling and shit, they find out like, oh, nobody respects you because you're short. And that's why he's wearing these fucking shoes. I Poor would guy. love a president to wear heels. Mm. Little secret heels. Yeah. And it's just a running joke that we all pretend that we don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It is crazy. No, because when we went to Nashville, I, I very much, like, realized, like, oh, there is, like, a fucking culture war taking place in this city. Because you will go to, like, certain restaurants and or certain stores, and there's big fucking signs saying, we love trans people, and we are inclusive, and yada, yada. And then you see billboards all over the place, too, that is basically, like, keep wokeism out of schools and shit. And oh I'm just like, gosh. oh, this shit is, like, going down here. Because in comparison comparison in we la i've never seen a billboard about trans people in yeah, la why does I don't it think. matter it's just like it's it's a non-issue compared to a lot of other things that got going on yeah even though we probably have like a hundred times as many trans people as they do in nashville probably yeah yes yeah Damn. it's just a non-fucking issue who cares yeah who cares right like i don't i don't i'm not taking out a billboard <laughs> <laughs> um okay so what are your favorite things sexually that actually genuinely get you off I love being completely like dominated, like blindfold, gag, bound, everything like that. Mm. Um, I like having my hair pulled. I don't know why guys don't fucking do it. It's because you don't like, have much of it. <laughs> I used to. I used oh. to have a bunch. And even when I had extensions, I would literally grab fistful. Oh, I'm ripping my own shit out. Excuse me. I would literally grab fistfuls of my hair and be like, "Look, you could pull it. It's fine." <laughs> and they wouldn't. Also, like, I love. I just. I love being brink. Like, just on the brink of it being called abuse. Wow, the brink. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's yeah, amazing. It's the fine line. Yeah. In porn and <laughs> off camera. There's a fine line. Yeah. In porn, I feel like I'm very vanilla. In in bed and stuff, I'm like, look at the thousands of dollars of latex I have. Which mm. one should we use today? When I see the dudes who do the crazy facial abuse porn and stuff as a person who does <sighs> more vanilla content, I'm just like, that takes a lot of fucking balls to request this sort of like really go for it to really destroy the face of makeup but there's like a lot of paperwork and a lot of discussion (laughs) beforehand the girl was like do this to me do this to me if i touch you like this this means stop there's like 
Yeah. Lots going Gotta on have to make that word. happen. Yeah. yeah. Cantaloupe, baby. Damn. Okay. And I think the girls doing that are like actually really like it. Yeah, yeah. Probably more often than not. I'm really attracted to her by the end of this conversation. <laughs> you have like that crazy girl energy that I think we can I all kind of relate girl. to. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely fucking psychotic. <laughs> that's my type. All right. I've heard enough. Let's go.